This is an unusual virology colloquium because I decided that all the speakers would be uh, some of the faculty in the Center for Molecular and Tumor Virology. Our nine presentations are going to be made by faculty members who are within the center. In the morning session, we will have five faculty who receive what we call pilot grants. These are $50,000 a year grants that come from our NIH funds that allow these faculty to develop new areas of research and also to enhance their ongoing research. The afternoon session is a symposium that will feature four of the faculty, each of whom is funded by a major NIH R01 grant, and it will be an opportunity for those who are attending, and especially our external advisors, to uh, see the nature of the research that's ongoing, the progress being made, and it gets a chance for us to sort of have a dog and pony show for these external reviewers who will write a report to NIH. Part of our center by NIH guidelines is that at least once a year, we have the members of our external advisory committee visit with us to learn about our progress in the past year, to discuss our plans, and to uh, see how well we're doing in mentoring young faculty and our postdoctoral fellows and our graduate students. We've invited the entire faculty of LSU. I've sent out invitations to many universities in the region. We've even sent it to community leaders. I realize that these community leaders are not going to come here and learn about viral gene function, but it was a way of telling them that good things are happening on King's Highway.